we talked about design mind as a first design tool. I am just repeating, design is not about hierarchy. Living with ambiguities is okay. This is the biggest challenge for a manager, as personally to me, as my personal example. When you are rising up in the organization, since I never worked for anybody, I started my career as an entrepreneur. So I don't know what it feels like to be a subordinate. And when somebody comes to you, your, my mind is to work to give the immediate answers. Whether I know it, the subject, or I don't know the subject. At some point of time, some coach of my coach has highlighted to me that, Arun, what is the urgency of giving answers to the problem which is posed to you? I was in heroic mind syndrome because as a, as a hierarchical top of the pyramid, you believe, start believing that uh, you have, it is your responsibility to give answers to the problem being posed to you as quickly as possible. That's it. The mental frame is you operates on. And in that process, there may be 90% decision which will be right and 10% decision which will be wrong and it brings a confidence to CEO. Oh, I am always right, it's okay, I know the answer and most of the answers are right for me. So why should I bother about holding back the answers? And that is the time I looked at it. Can I, can I in a meeting, can I enter the meeting, can I stand up and say, I don't know the answer? It required a huge amount of courage for me to get into that mode where I see and say, I don't know the answer, I know the, I understood the problem, let us discuss the problem tomorrow. Even that four statement to be communicated to the group was most difficult for me to go through. <coughs> and this is a critical issue maybe there with many leaders. I don't know how many leaders have that issue, but if that issue was with me, I'm just relating that issue maybe with you come under the pressure of your authority with the immediate response. You are, you are, your role modeling in the mind happens that way. That I need to give answer. What I observed as soon as I start able to say after two hours of meeting, I stood, I just tell the group, I don't know the answer, I'll come back to you tomorrow, I'll come back to you next week. It created a lot of energy in me. I could go back, sleep over it, ask some more people, collect more data. And subconscious mind, when you sleep it over, you meditate on the problem statement, you may find an answer. So sometime next day morning, sometime two days later, you find an answer. 